name is Wes Patterson, and I am the chef at Southern Roots Restaurant and Catering in Jamestown, North Carolina. Uh, Southern Roots is um, a very southern restaurant, kind of, I, I don't want to say upscale, but kind of upscale southern cuisine. Um, very nice, casual, laid-back atmosphere. It's not fine dining by any means, and a uh, very laid-back atmosphere, fun place to bring people. We have uh, live music all the time and good food. I first started cooking when I was 16. I think I was a sophomore in high school. I was working at a barbecue restaurant just as a part-time job, and I fell in love with it. And then moved off to college and worked at a bar and grill, started as on the, cooking on the fryer, and worked my, my way up to manager. And then once I graduated from college, I went to culinary school and started working at Southern Roots and worked my way up to being the chef. I started my cooking career at a barbecue restaurant in Greensboro called Henry James. Uh, I started off just kind of helping clean up and wash dishes and do that, and then I became the youngest person there ever to work the grill on a Sunday morning, which was something I was proud of. I was 16 years old and just went from there. Culinary highlight of my career, um, becoming the executive chef of Southern Roots. Um, I worked for, there for three and a half years as a sous chef and worked my way up and then finally got that title, and that's been pretty much the highlight of my career so far. In the kitchen, um, I'm pretty laid back. A lot of people see me and they think I'm a very intimidating person, but I'm really not. Um, I'm laid back, but uh, I can be aggressive and intimidating when I have to be, but I try not to be and I try to get things done in a calm manner. Uh, I'm passionate about food because I love to eat good food, but uh, I, like I said, I grew up, my grandmother used to always have us over for dinner and cooking home style southern meals and just really seeing how all that came together and all the work that went into it really gave me a passion for it. I just can't really see myself doing anything else. I definitely couldn't have a desk job. I'm, I like being on my feet. I like being on the run all day, and I like having deadlines that, I guess, somewhat stress me out, but I feed off of it and I enjoy it. It's hard for people on the outside to see how much of a rush it is working on the line at night and when the whole board's filled up with tickets and you don't ever think there's going to be an end to it. And then once it finally happens, it's a good feeling. I signed up to compete in this uh, competition because I just wanted to see where I stand amongst the better chefs in the triad. I'm young and starting out as a chef, and I'd like to see how I stack up against my competition. I think I can win the competition because I think a lot of people were worried about the time constraint, and I do most of the catering, like I said, at work, and we feed 800 to 1,000 people at some events, and I'm not worried about feeding 120 people, so I don't think that'll be a problem. And other than that, um, I think I have a lot of creativity, and I think I can work. I'm familiar with most North Carolina ingredients, and I think I can work with them.